Hello everyone, I am Dr. M. Nirmala, Associate Professor, Head of the Department, Department of Mathematics, Satibama Institute of Science and Technology, deemed to be University, Chennai. In today's lecture, we are going to see the introduction to Fourier series. In many engineering problems, in particular, in the study of periodic phenomena like conduction of heat, electromagnetic and acoustics, we need to express a function as a series in terms of sines and cosines. Fourier series are infinite series derived to express a function which is periodic in terms of sines and cosines. It is used to solve ordinary and partial differential equations. The French mathematician and physicist, the Fourier, Joseph Fourier has done a lot of work in the fundamentals of trigonometric series. So, this series is named after his name Fourier. To introduce Fourier series, we will see some basic concepts. Let f of x be a function defined in the interval, open interval a comma b. f of x is said to be continuous at a point x is equal to a if f of a exists and limit extending to a f of x should exist. And the third point is the limit extending to a f of x is equal to f of a. If these conditions are satisfied, I can say the function f of x is continuous at x is equal to a. I can say the function is continuous in the interval a comma b if it is continuous at each and every point in this interval. The function f of x is said to be piecewise continuous in the interval finite number of discontinuous points. So, if I show a graph where we have the interval a and b open interval and if the graph is like this then I can say the function is continuous. If I have a cut in this graph like this then this point the corresponding point will be a discontinuous point for this function f of x. Since the function is continuous in this interval a comma c and in the interval c comma b we call this as a piecewise continuous function in the interval a comma b since it has only one discontinuous point. If we have infinite number of discontinuous points then the function is called as f of x is called as discontinuous point in the interval a comma b. The next concept what we need is periodic function. A function f of x is said to be a periodic function if f of x plus a is equal to f of x where a is a positive constant and as an example you can take f of x is equal to sin x. Sin x is said to be a periodic function with period 2 pi as we know very well f of x plus 2 pi is sin of x plus 2 pi which is equal to sin x itself which is nothing but a function f of x. Hence, sin x and cos x are periodic functions with period 2 pi and tan x and cortex are periodic functions with period pi. So, these are the examples for periodic functions. Now, we can introduce what is meant by a Fourier scene, a function which is continuous, piecewise continuous or discontinuous and then the periodic function definitions. Now, we will see one more case called Dirichlet conditions. So, the mathematician Dirichlet framed certain conditions which are the sufficient conditions for the existence of Fourier series to be expanded in the given interval c comma c plus 2 l. So, we will see that conditions. Let f of x be a function defined in the interval c comma c plus 2 l. The first condition is the function should be single value the second condition is it should be continuous or piecewise continuous
the third condition is it should have finite number of maxima and minima so finite number of maxima and minima so if these conditions are satisfied then the fourier series of f of x the fourier series of f of x converges to f of a where a is a continuous point otherwise if a is a discontinuous point then the fourier series of f of x will take up the value of the left average of the left hand and right hand limits at that point these conditions are called as dirichlet's conditions so the basic concepts which we require for expanding a function fourier as a fourier series are the function should be a continuous or at least piece wise continuous it should be a periodic function if satisfies the sufficiency conditions like dirichlet conditions then we can expand a function as a fourier series in the given interval